All right. Okay, cool. So, Adrian, welcome. Glad you're here today. Thank you. Uh, my name is Chris Lemming. We're here at True Nature Hypnotherapy, and we're going to demonstrate uh, some hypnosis induction techniques here, some rapid inductions. Um, Adrian has uh, graciously agreed to be um, uh, kind of a volunteer and help you to understand a little bit more about what hypnosis is and, and what it can be used for. So we're going to do a couple of inductions here. We're going to kind of demonstrate that and uh, we'll check in then with you, see how things are going, what your experience was like. And then we're going to move over into, you can't see it here, but the magic hypnosis chair and we'll do um, some kind of deeper higher self work. Okay, so welcome, glad you're here today. So. Um, We've talked a little bit, we've, and you know, we've done some work together before in uh, the context of some workshops and you know, uh, some group hypnosis sessions and things like that. So you have some experience of hypnosis, just want to make sure that everyone knows that. So, um, and that's good, because hypnosis is like a skill, and the more exposure we have to it, the more we do it, actually the easier it becomes, and the deeper we can go, and the easier it is to access your subconscious mind and all of your creative powers and healing transformative powers and, and your intuition and all those wonderful resources, okay? So um, so this should be fun, enjoyable, and easy for you. Um, so we're going to do a quick little induction here. This is one that is very popular, works very fast, takes you right into trance. Don't go into trance yet, but just, just you know, as, as we do this, you know, you're just going to notice that you just kind of go nice and easily into a wonderful state of hypnosis, okay? okay. That hypnosis is basically just going to move from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. And so when that starts to happen, just let it and just enjoy that experience, okay? Okay. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is set the intention that everything we do here today is for your highest benefit, for your highest good. That's always our aim. We always keep that as our beacon, as our lighthouse, guiding us in the right direction. So, okay? Okay. So now... Um, Go ahead, take your hands, put them together in front of you. Go ahead and clasp your fingers together. Squeeze them tight, squeeze them tight, squeeze them tight. That's right, now put your index fingers up like that, leaving them a little bit of space in between. Focus your attention right on that space, right on that space right there. Now imagine that there's two hypnosis magnets just pulling your fingers together, pulling them closer and closer. Pulling those fingers together with that hypnosis. That's right, as soon as your fingers touch, let your eyes close down. That's right, let your eyes close down and begin to relax. And that's right. Let that wonderful feeling of hypnosis move all around your eyes. Let it move down your fingers and your hands and down into your arms. Let that wonderful hypnosis move up through your arms and your shoulders, up over the top of your head. And if you like, if you find it comfortable, you can let your arms begin to slowly move down, down to your lap to a comfortable position. That's right. As that hypnosis continues to move all the way down your back. That's right. Down to your arms, down to your elbows again. Back down to your hands, out to the tips of those fingers. That's right. Just a wave of comfort, a wave of ease as it moves down your spine and just starts to spread throughout all of your back muscles, starting to relax and release some of the tension some of the stress, some of the worry of the day. As your hypnosis, your wonderful hypnosis moves down through all of your internal organs and down through your hips, down through your legs, and all the way down to your feet, out to the tips of your toes. That's right, each breath taking you deeper, each breath taking you twice as deep. That's right. A hundred times as deep. That's right. Two hundred times. That's right. Relaxing more and more, just simply enjoying this experience. That's right. Very good. Now in a moment, not just yet, but in a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. When I reach the number three, you open your eyes, come back to normal waking consciousness. Feeling wonderful, feeling refreshed in every way. Ready to continue in this experience, to enjoy this experience with a sense of curiosity and wonder. An enjoyable experience of self-discovery, reconnecting with your true self, your highest being. As number one, starting to come back. Number two, 
That's right, easily coming back. And number three, open your eyes all the way back, wide away, wide away, feeling wonderful. All right, how was that for you? It was nice. Wonderful, great, great. Excellent, all right. What did, were any sensations or feelings that you felt or? <clears throat> I mean, obviously very calm and relaxed mm -hmm. and just sort of a little visual of probably in the lights, but you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful, okay, great. Good. All right, so once again, we're going to move over into the magic hypnosis chair over here, do a little bit of higher self work. So uh, once again, welcome. Glad you're here. Glad we're going to do this work today. So we were talking earlier about some of the things that you maybe wanted to focus on today. So especially connecting with your intuition, right, with your higher self. And um, this is like foundational to the work that I do with people, right? And, and it's because really no matter what issue people are wanting to change, whatever whether it's you know anxiety or dealing trauma or addictions or anything like that. I put a little stars there. Sorry, it's totally <laughs> distracted me. That's all right, no problem. I wanted to make sure it was really there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so whatever it is that we wanted to change, whatever we wanted to make a shift in, um, we can do, but it's, it's really more the aim, it's really to connect you with who you truly are, right? because most of our problems arise from a misunderstanding of who we really are, right? A feeling of disconnection, a feeling of fragmentation or brokenness, um, missing something or feeling less than perfectly worthy. So that's where all the source of all of our problems is, is from that misperception of who we really are, who you truly are, your true nature, which is, I'm sure as you know and kind of intuit and experience, uh, your true nature is arises out of the source of everything, right? Um, we're not separate from the source. We're not separate from what we could call the divine. Um, you are an expression of the wholeness of the universe. All the creative potential of the universe is expressing itself through you. All the love, and the unconditional compassion, all those qualities are your natural qualities, right? All the time and always. It's just when we get in this hypnotic trance, if you will, of thinking like, oh, I'm separate, and oh, you know, so-and-so hurt me when I was young, and you know, I can't do this because I don't have the skills and the qualifications and the worthiness and the value to be able to do it. All these sorts of stories that we tell ourselves are just that, they're just stories. They're not really the truth. So by connecting with your true self more and more, you're really able to then really navigate through life much more easily <laughs> because you can tune into that higher self, right? That higher self that knows you through and through and knows exactly what you need to do in any given situation. So really that's just what we're gonna do today is kind of get you in touch with that. And, uh, and then I'm just gonna give you an opportunity, you know, some space and some time to commune with your higher self. And I'll ask you some questions about maybe what you're experiencing and you can share you know, whatever you like, as much or as little as you like. In the, in the moment. In the moment, yeah. Okay. So we'll be able to communicate while you're having that experience. Okay. But you can share as much or as little as you like, okay? Okay. All right, sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do a, this easiest induction <clears throat> that I know, which is just, you know, as long as you're ready to do some hypnosis. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're ready, just take a deep breath and then let your eyes close down as you exhale. That's right, and just begin to allow and feel and experience that hypnosis all around your eyes. And just simply relax your eyes. Relax your eyes now until they just won't work. Imagine what it would be like to relax your eyes to the point where they just won't work. They feel so good being closed, so loose and limp, rested and heavy. And once you're satisfied that it just won't work. Go ahead and let that feeling move up over your forehead, over the top of your head, and just spill down the back of your neck. So that hypnosis, that wonderful hypnosis, your hypnosis is moving down your back and all the way down through your legs and to the tips of your toes. As that relaxing healing energy then moves back up the front of your legs and up the front of your body, through your arms, through all of your internal organs, bathing all of your internal organs with relaxing, healing energy. 
That's right. All the way up over your face and around your cheeks, your chin, all around your ears and your nose. Noticing all the tiny little muscles, releasing and letting go now. That's right, very good. Simply enjoying this experience now. That's right. Very good. Now go ahead, Adrian, and bring your attention to your breathing and just notice your breathing. Notice how every breath that you take as you draw air into your lungs. Your lungs are extracting all of the billions and trillions of oxygen molecules. Your lungs just know exactly what to do, exactly how to do that to identify and then extract from the air billions and trillions of oxygen molecules. And then your powerful subconscious mind knows exactly what to do in order to deliver those billions and trillions of oxygen molecules to every cell of your body. And somehow, and I don't know how, Every cell of your body responds to the presence of those oxygen molecules, recognizes the presence of the oxygen. And then each and every cell spontaneously, effortlessly, actually changes the composition of the cell wall to allow the oxygen molecule to pass right through. Oxygen can be utilized by every cell of your body to support all your life's processes. And as you think about this now, you begin to recognize that your conscious mind will never comprehend how this powerful, creative intelligence of your being is able to manage this miraculously complex process. Every moment of your life. That's right. Connecting with that deeper, wiser part of your being. loving intelligence the joyful expression of aliveness and awareness and knowing that's right And now, Adrian, go ahead and allow your subconscious mind, your powerful subconscious mind, to imagine. Imagine being in a powerful place, a magical place, a mystical place just for you. That's right. Imagine yourself now in a powerful place, a magical place, a mystical place. you can begin to become aware of the presence of your highest self, 
your true pure being. Imagine yourself in this magical, powerful, mystical place, being welcomed into the presence of your higher self now. Welcomed into its presence. So your higher self is surrounding you now. As you begin to remember that your higher self is always surrounding you and has always surrounded you. That's right. in this powerful place, this magical place, this mystical place, in the presence of your higher self, begin to imagine your body surrounded by pure white, golden light. Feel it surrounding you. Touching your skin. Noticing it in all sorts of delightful and interesting ways. That's right, as you begin to recognize that this is the light of your true, pure being. in a surprising, delightful way that this light is full of healing power, loving intelligence. And you're learning to trust its wisdom and guidance more and more. And as this light moves through your body and permeates and illuminates every cell surrounding you, embracing you completely. It feels good. As that loving, healing energy and light is now delivered effortlessly everywhere that is needed. all the parts of yourself that need attention now. Recognize that you have the power to deliver this light now effortlessly and easily and spontaneously everywhere that it's needed. Effortlessly and easily being delivered just the right places, just the right experiences, memories, parts. That's right. That's right. Very good. And as we move through this experience, we talked about, I'll be able to ask you questions and you can share what you're experiencing. You can share as much or as little as you like. Just know that the sharing makes the whole experience that much more enjoyable and the changes that much more powerful. And what are you experiencing now? Let me know how well you're doing. I'm good. Um, I went away for a while. That's okay. Like, um, I can't remember more what I was dreaming. That's right. And then, um, like I said, I heard your last sentence and I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's why I'll be checking in periodically because 
we go into various depths of hypnosis throughout the experience. Sometimes it'll take us just sweeping along that floor, that valley of sleep. And so we want to make sure that we hover a little bit above that and just stay present. Although it can feel quite dreamlike. Mm -hmm. It's really first sometimes when I get it scared. That's right. And just simply know that throughout this experience, your subconscious mind is always listening. Your higher self is always aware, always guiding and supporting you. All the right ways for you. And as you again experience yourself, imagine yourself in this powerful, magical, mystical place, this light of your higher self surrounding you, you begin to recognize this is the light of your pure being. Your unassailable integrity that's so pure and so free that it's never been tainted or diminished by anything that you've ever thought or said or done. Neither has it been tainted or diminished by anything that's been thought or said or done to you or about you by anyone else. As you think about this now, your subconscious mind has the power to begin to reevaluate everything from your past experience, all of your past learnings, all your beliefs. Habits, presuppositions, assumptions. Your subconscious mind can begin a very thorough process of reevaluating everything from your past experience. So that you're getting ready to release what needs to be released. Getting ready to release what no longer serves you or benefits you. Getting ready to release all those things that have become obsolete. And simply imagine, only imagine now all of those negative feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations all those obsolete beliefs, anything that's no longer of true benefit to you, all of it just being pulled out, drawn out, dragged out into the light surrounding you now. All the tension, the stress, the worry, the shame, the guilt, the fear, the blame, all of it being pulled out, drawn out, dragged out, magnetized out into that light surrounding you, into that loving, healing energy of your higher self to be healed and transformed as you get ready to release it all now. That's right. That's right. All the negative feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations your subconscious mind identifying them all very thoroughly, very carefully and lovingly, so you can let them go now. That's right. Releasing the problems now. negative, negative feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, physical sensations, any garbage that needs to be taken out, everything that you're ready to let go of, getting ready to release it now.
your subconscious mind to be very thorough, releasing, letting go of all the negative feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations that up until now have been holding you back or keeping you stuck. Blocking your connection to your true self, your intuition, all the negative feelings, images, thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations, getting ready to release them all now. Simply letting go now. That's right. Now, Adrian, when you feel that you've released enough for now, and your subconscious mind has released enough for now, we'll let you know by just your eyes opening. When you've released enough for now, you'll know when your eyes open, you're just simply letting them open. You've released enough for now. experiencing now how was that for you i know it's great it was funny when you said the when you feel enough to open your eyes mm -hmm. because as you were doing that um releasing <clears throat> i was sort of at the same time imagining myself also getting a little lighter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. feeling it like let go of me okay. and so then when you said that i was like okay i'm good I'm good, but my eyes did not open. Yeah, yeah, right. I was like, right. and it was almost, I was almost gonna laugh because yeah. I was like, I mean, yeah. I'm good, but I don't know why my eyes aren't opening. Right. <laughs> I almost right. felt like exactly. I had to pry them open a little bit. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> yeah. And you know what she, what she's, what you're saying there, um, what Adrian was just saying is that, you know, that we're, we're instructing your subconscious mind to, and, and learning that your subconscious mind knows when you've released enough. You know, it's not a conscious decision that you need to make. Your subconscious mind is like, nope, not yet. Wait a minute, just a little more, <laughs> right? For now, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And all this process is, again, it's just learning how to access that inner wisdom that's in operation all the time. And in fact, our conscious involvement in it is, can oftentimes hinder it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we want to just let the subconscious mind do the work because you already know what to do. You already know what the right steps are to take and you know exactly what you need. That's why all the images that you'll see as this process unfolds, I'm not like giving you too many instructions. I try not to give you too many specifics mm -hmm. so that your subconscious mind can and I just simply imagine what a powerful place it is, mm -hmm. you know? And the instruction of just light is, you know, if you feel light and you want to experience that, that's fine, but really it's more about connecting with the clarity of your your own self. Uh, otherwise, it's really all up to you what's coming up. So, yeah, I'm just trusting that. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure. <laughs> all right, excellent, great. So, um, let's go back in for a little bit okay. for another round here. And, okay. uh, and this time, um, we'll just kind of see what happens. But, uh, like you said, we'll direct just towards a, a, some sp opening up some space for you to just communicate with and. Uh, commune with your higher self and just you know have that conversation okay. about whatever whatever comes up whatever seems to be the most you know um, important area of your life that that needs addressing right now okay okay all right sound good mm -hmm. all right so again you can take yourself back in hypnosis so easily and so effortlessly by just taking a deep breath and on the exhale you let your eyes close 
and just let yourself go back. Let yourself go back. Let yourself go back. Just like you allow yourself to slip into a pool of warm water on a cool day. Drifting and floating down. All the way down. To just the right depth. So you can imagine yourself in your powerful place, your magical, mystical place. A place just for you. Connecting with your true self, your higher self. As it welcomes you into its presence. If you find it helpful and useful and enjoyable, you can imagine a stream of pure white golden light just streaming down into the top of your head from the source of infinite loving, healing intelligence and grace. Just flowing down into your heart, filling your heart with loving, healing energy and light. That's right. As that light fills and overflows throughout your heart, just spilling out into the rest of your body, the rest of your being, so it's illuminating every cell of your body, purifying every cell, healing every cell, paying special attention to any areas of your body that feel the need for that light, special need that loving, healing energy now. So that light can concentrate there. That's right. As that light fills your heart and radiates throughout your whole being, creating a sphere of golden white light all around you, loving, protective sphere, drawing blessings to you, resources, insight. Genuine learnings and understandings. Even enlightenment. That's right, very good. Very good. And from now on, in the coming hours, in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming years, you can remember spontaneously, unexpectedly, unintentionally and intentionally, that that brilliant white golden light is always shining at your heart. As you remember that light, Refreshing your connection to your true self. That's right. And what are you experiencing now? Let me know how well you're doing. I'm good. Um, I'm sort of imagining uh, light all around me, like it's on my elbow.
just going to simply remain silent for a few moments while we commune with this light, experience this light, experience this energy, this transference of energy, receiving all the empowerments, the downloads, the upgrades and the shifts from your higher self, from your pure being. Receiving all of the empowerments, the energy, insights, upgrades, downloads from the source of your being, the true highest self now. Experiencing now, let me know how well you're doing. <clears throat> I'm still thinking I had all these sort of related images of how many times I've seen that. this communion, this exchange of energy. Again, I'll remain silent for a few moments. You can share with me what you're experiencing if you wish, as much or as little as you like. Just enjoying this experience until you feel that the process is complete and your higher self has given you everything that you need for now. When you feel the process is complete, you can simply open your eyes and take your time. Keep wanting to be able to open them slow, uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. I'm not in charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's another, you know, intuition exercise, right? Just kind of like, well, let me just let, let them open, let me open, right? Mm -hmm. And just to see what, what, what your your intuition says, what your subconscious mind wants. So, and 
nobody knows. Wonderful. What was that experience like for you? It was really cool. Um, I feel like, you know, I've done visualizations around higher self before, mm -hmm. and I think it was almost little, but I don't just imagine a more expanded version of myself. Mm -hmm. And this time, instead, it was, like I said, this sort of blue energy, mm -hmm. and I sort of had this understanding that source is not this. Mm -hmm. Source is something bigger mm -hmm. that's enjoying this. Mm -hmm. But it just was more like getting taken up with that kind of energy versus, it just was a different way to look at it that I hadn't, I guess consciously looked at it that way. Right. But when I when I sort of went, oh, then I flashed a couple of dreams where I've had this okay. dream of like a giant blue orb uh -huh. that I was flying around and all of a sudden I connected that and was like, oh, right. that's what that was. Right. And then right. the star card came in and so yeah. it was sort of this whole different understanding, I guess, than I had mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or a new perspective that I hadn't, I hadn't, I mean, it was hanging out there, but I hadn't kind of visually grasp I guess I don't know sure, sure. yeah definitely, definitely. <laughs> visually grasp whatever but <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean the highest aspect of our being is formless really right that's you know? what it was like just this love energy mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right it's more like consciousness awareness universal expand you know limitless love those sorts of things that's you know and as we sort of like as it finds expression through us in this physical body, it becomes more specific, right? These things that seem to be, we seem to be separate. We seem to have fingers and toes and we seem to have all these emotions and feelings and identity and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's like the, as we get closer to the source, it's just, yeah, it just blows all that away. Right. right. All that just becomes like, that's not who I really am. It was trippy too of how like each induction, you know, was sort of more mild or not mild, mild to begin with, and a little deeper. Mm -hmm. There's that moment where I perhaps fell asleep. I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> yeah, I think there was a. I think you just like went in and out. Yeah. So that's when I like started to ask like. Okay, yeah, you so, said something, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, I'm I'm here." Right. Um, and then, um, and then to go into this more playful visualization mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it was sort of interesting just to watch that you know just to yeah. sort of be aware of the different places you can go yeah exactly exactly and when you're doing this for yourself keep that in mind that you know you can break up your if you're doing this at home you know you're doing self-hypnosis for yourself break up your session so that there's this you know there's just separate parts you go in to self-hypnosis for a little bit and then you come out and then go in again and then come out and this is a concept or observation that they observed back in I don't know the 50s or something that they call it fractionation mm -hmm. right so the, you, you break the hypnotic trance quote unquote uh, and each time you do it when you go back in you just go deeper right? mm -hmm. so it's just yeah so that's why why it's, it's powerful to do it this way to not just keep you in this one you know try to keep you in this one state for an hour and a half or something like that it's like you know let's break it up into little chunks and you go deeper and deeper, and then the experience becomes more rich and more meaningful and more powerful. So each time, yeah, cool, cool, <laughs> nice, nice, wonderful. All right. Anything else that you want to share about that, or any uh, you know, I don't know, physical sensations that you felt, or um, any other kind of realizations or insights? I mean, at one point, you know, I'm sitting here and this is pretty comfortable, but at one point I had the distinct feeling that I had shifted Oh, okay. okay. and was sort of seeing things from a different view. Uh -huh. And I actually had to kind of reassess it because at first that felt really fun, but then that felt way, you mm -hmm. know, so I had to reassess it. So that was the trip. Right. And then some other things were, I don't think this time, but the time before this, I don't know how I was holding my hands. Mm -hmm. But at some point, I was like, what is going on with my hands? Because I couldn't tell <laughs> yeah. if they were like touching or what was happening. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 
So that's kind of trip. And I just feel like it kind of, you kind of go in and out of like being conscious of the body versus yeah. having, right. like putting it off to the side a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a common experience. I've, I've had that too. Where it's like, wait a minute, are my hands touching my legs? Are they my are my arms even there? Like, what's right. <laughs> where where am I? So, um, but that's cool because that that's what that shows that we're accessing again the subconscious. We're accessing something more fluid, right? It's not everyday, you know, mm -hmm. ordinary consciousness. So, yeah, cool, wonderful, cool. wonderful, <laughs> great. All right. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Adrian, for doing this. Thank you. you know, for everybody. <laughs> I know um, that one of the things about that I the reason I make these videos is to show people what hypnosis is really all about. What's what is happening here, you know? And one of the main things that I, I like to stress is that you're in control, right? You're in control of this process. It's not somebody where you know <laughs> <laughs> planting suggestions. Yeah, that, yeah, right, right. Doing the quack quack duck duck mm -hmm. thing, but um, but yeah, you're in control, and it's really all about you just empowering yourself finding those resources within yourself to make your own discoveries and to come to your own conclusions about what's best for you and how to solve your, your most pressing sort of life issues, right? Mm -hmm. So um, so that's what this process is really all about. So again, thank you for uh, watching this video today. Again, my name is Chris Lemig with True Nature Hypnotherapy. Um, I help people to connect with their higher self, their true self, so that we can really just clear out and cleanse out all these um, feelings of toxic shame and guilt and low self-esteem and imposter syndrome, all these identity misunderstandings because your true self, your true nature is whole, complete, full of love, full of creative power and potential. And, uh, and that's what happens when you connect with your higher self more and more. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button for more content just like this. Take care. Be well.